Well, boys, we made it. Week one of the NFL season is in the books, baby. It's in the books. And what in the world happened this week? I'll tell you. A lot of stuff happened. It was wild. It was crazy. Let's start with the Bills and the Rams here on Thursday night. As I don't know what in the world Matthew Stafford was cooking up. Well, he was cooking up a lot of turnovers, but I mean, you get what I mean. The Bills in the second half of this game, because it was tied at one point. It was tied, you know, at one point. But then the Bills, you know, Josh Allen was like, hey, let me, let me, let me, let me flex on him real quick. And then you had Bond Miller, you know, running up and doing whatever he wanted to do to Matthew Stafford. I mean, it was just, it was just rough to watch the Rams on Thursday. It was just it was just a rough game to look at. Like the Bills completely controlled at certain points. Yeah, there was a lot of turnovers in this game too. Don't let's not let's not forget about that. I mean both teams turned the ball over like three consecutive plays. But at the end of the day, the Bills they are proving why a lot of people are picking them to go to the Super Bowl so far. I mean Gabe Davis was out there catching touchdowns, you know, just wide open touchdowns too. You got Isaiah McKenzie, you know, redeeming himself after a drop ball that resulted in an interception, you know. I mean, it was just rough out there to watch the Rams get cooked like that. They got cooked. You know, Cooper Cup cannot save them. The Eagles and the Lions was a game I don't think anybody expected. I didn't watch this game, but it went wild. You know, the Eagles barely pulled out the W there. I mean, my goodness. Maybe the answer is out there for Jalen Hurts and company. Maybe the answer is there. I did watch the Bears and the 49ers, though. Oh, my goodness. That Bears defense, it's something else. Again, this is a battle of two quarterbacks, but you really don't know what in the world is going to happen between the 49ers with Trey Lance and the Bears with Justin Fields. But ultimately, that Bears defense... It's still unreal. It's still out there doing whatever it needs to do. You know, you still got guys like Eddie Jackson out there. You know, that Bears defense did enough in the terrible conditions on Soldier Field. I mean, that field was wet out there. You know, very, very wet. So much rain on the field. You know, you, you can't even get a Swiffer wet jet to clean all that up. I mean, my goodness, man. Bears beat the 49ers. I don't think anybody expected that. You know, 19-10, not the way you want to see. The Steelers and the Bengals. Now, this game, I thought, was going to be, you know, a blowout at first. I mean, you know, Joe Burrow and company turned it over five times. Minka Fitzpatrick, you know, made two big plays. TJ Watt made a big play before he got injured. He'll be out for, like, a little bit, maybe, like, a couple weeks or so, like six, six to eight. Um, Torn Peck, you know, you know, you thought Mitch Trubisky, you know, he didn't have to really do too much. I mean, he threw a TD to Najee Harris, you know, early in the second quarter, and it felt like, you know, it felt like right then and there, the Steelers were going to run away with this one with their defense. But ultimately, the Bengals did come back. But then the nonsense happened, where you had three missed kicks in critical situations at the end of regulation in OT. What in the world, man? And this is not the only case of this either. Like, there were NFL kickers shenanigans the entire day. That's the, That was the most jarring part, you know, was this game with the kickers situation. And speaking of things that are jarring, the Dolphins? I remember people were talking about two his arm and everything like that, but they beat the Patriots like it was nobody's business. Like, you're talking... You're talking this Patriots team didn't look too good out here. Like, like Tula Takavailoa, he was out here. He threw a touchdown out here. Remember, Tyreek Hill is on this team now. You know, and, and I mean the Dolphins, they got they got some guys on this roster. They see, they've kept some guys. They got some more guys. You know, I mean the Dolphins are looking like somebody that can play. You know, and I don't know I don't know what the hoodie's gonna do. You know, I don't know, the Mac Jones experiment is working out fine, but it's, again, it's a lot of defensive guys that, you know, are not there anymore for the Patriots. And, you know, things do need to be answered out here really quick. Speaking of answers, you're not going to get it for Baker Mayfield. No, sir. 
How do you let Jacoby Brissett and the Browns beat you? How do you let this happen? You have Christian McCaffrey in the backfield. You have, you know, a Panthers team that's looking for something more, you know, against the Browns team that's just had all sorts of problems, you know, that, you know, have formulated, you know, since their playoff run, you know, a couple years ago. You know, their, their first real big playoff run in a while, a couple years ago. And now, you know, the results aren't there for Baker Mayfield today. No, no vengeance for you, sir. No vengeance for you. Speaking of things that, you know, we're, we're, we're continuing down the bizarre train as the Colts and the Texans tied. Yes, I know, they tied. You know, with Matt Ryan out there, quarterback for the Colts, you know, you, you think things would be okay but the Texans were blowing them out at first. I do not know why the Texans were blowing them out at first with Davis Mills at quarterback. Keep in mind, that's who the Texans have at quarterback, Davis Mills. I don't I don't understand how we got a tie. We should have got two ties, you know, but the Steelers wanted to win so bad against the Bengals, even though, you know, they should have put it away earlier. Steelers. Gotta be kidding me, bro. But there's some things that change, you know, we get a tie this year, and then there's some things that don't change, you know, like the Falcons blowing a lead against Javis Winston and the Saints. If Michael Thomas catches another, you know, pass, I'm sure, you know, the Falcons will not be there to cover it. And that's exactly what happened. Like, how, how, do, you, how do you let this happen? You can't take... You, you, you just can't take the choking out of Atlanta. You can take, you know, guys like Matt Ryan out, but you can't take the spirit of choking away from the Atlanta Falcons. That's how bad it was. Like, how do you lose this game? How do you lose this? Come on. Inexplicable. Inexplicable stuff. And then you have the Ravens taking on the Jets. I mean, you got Joe Flacco out there at quarterback. Come on now. Come on, Joe Flacco. Come on. He's not elite. I'll tell you that much. And the Ravens showed him why. And so did Lamar Jackson. And please give Lamar Jackson his money to Baltimore. Please. Don't give him like a 130 guarantee. You, you, you give him way more guaranteed, you know, than that. Give him way more money guaranteed than whatever you're promising him. Because I, I think the initial contract that he denied was like $290 million with a $130 million guaranteed or something like that. Like a, around that area. Give, give the man more. Give that man more, you know. Like, if Mahomes can get a contract that's like 10 years, $500 million, I, I, I need something close to that for my boy Lamar Jackson. And, I mean, he, he continues to prove why he's one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Speaking of, you know, well, I wouldn't say good quarterbacks, but I'd say we got some interesting stuff. And that was that Washington-Jacksonville game in which that was interesting for a little bit. Did you expect the Commanders to come out and beat the Jags? Did you really care if the Commanders beat the Jags with Carson Wentz at quarterback? Did you care that Carson Wentz threw two interceptions, though? I care. <laughs> I care. I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't know where my thoughts again. Maybe the Jags look a little better, but I mean, come on. I, I, I genuinely do not care about this game at all. But I do care about Justin Jefferson whooping all up on the Packers defense. Like, he, Bands was running all over the Packers defense. Just running routes all over him. Like, how, how do you leave this man wide open on multiple occasions? Kirk Cousins, you know, and you let Dalvin Cook run all over you too. You know, it's, it's, just, it's just bad. Like, Packers ain't got no wide receivers. The Packers continue to mess up in key situations. Aaron Rodgers out here looking sad and frustrated. I mean, it's rough. It's rough to watch. It's rough to look at, you know, watch the Packers do nothing. They did nothing for 40 minutes of this game. Like, the Packers did absolutely nothing until, you know, late in the third quarter when they finally got a touchdown. But it was already too late by then. It was too late. Way too late. Speaking of things that are, well, I wouldn't say they're too late, but this has been a long time coming. Maybe it's a little bit early, you know. Titans. Something's wrong out here. How do you let Daniel Jones beat y'all? Not not only did Daniel Jones make plays down the stretch. Yeah, he threw some bad. Yeah, he threw some bad passes. He threw a bad interception late. 
Where in the world was Derrick Henry? Did Derrick Henry even show up? I mean, maybe, maybe he did. I mean, that's not that's not how we're gonna remember this game, are we? You know, like the Giants here, they 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 had Saquon Barkley doing things, you know, like like the Saquon Barkley that was you know running all over guys at Penn State. Like, what do you mean? Like, well, I'm just sitting here shocked, confused, all sorts of flabbergasted. Everything, all the emotions of confusion right now. Uh, I sit here with the Giants winning, you know, their first season opener in quite some time. Like what? What do you mean? Like what? Daniel Jones being clutch? That's that's not a sentence I would want to say at any point at all this year. Like I don't, I don't want to say that, but here we are, first week of the season, saying it. The Chargers, man, they. Like, yeah, a lot of people are, you know, high on the charges. I'm pretty high on, on the charges, too, you know. With Justin Herbert throwing three touchdowns like that, you know, that that's easy money. Easy money right there. You can't have Derek Carr throwing them interceptions, though, can you? You know, despite the fact that Devontae Adams had probably one of the best, you know, route running, you know, techniques I've ever seen in my entire life, it did save the Raiders for anything. It did save the Raiders for losing this game. I mean, you got... You 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 got you know things. Well, the Chargers are set up really nicely. They're set up really really nicely with this defense. You know, Khalil Mack or with James. You know, I mean, just you know, Joey Bosa. I mean, you know, they, I mean, they they picked up a lot of guys in free agency. They picked up a lot of guys that can do some damage out here. And this this Chargers team, you know, has to be looking for something better. And they 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 definitely achieved something. On this Sunday, they definitely achieved a good, good thing by winning that first game. That's always the first step in the right direction after the way last year ended for them. Speaking of, you know, things ending, I, 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 I thought, you know, we all thought that the Chiefs, you know, would, you know, maybe, maybe they'd regress just a little bit, not too much, but. They picked up. They they picked up right where they left off, looking like the AFC's dominant king. You know, pimp slapping the rest of the AFC around, pimp slapping the rest of the NFL around, like they usually do, and that's exactly what they did to the Cardinals. Oh my goodness, that is not how you show up, Cardinals. Like, come on, what's what's going on out there? Like, you know, Juju Smith Schuster is a chief now, and he he and he was out there balling like everybody. You know, you know all the old players. You know, for the Chiefs that just be balling, you know, Kelsey, Miko, Hardman, Clyde Edwards, Hilaire, they were all balling out there. Like, they, they, this was this was a route. This was a clinic. This is disgusting. If you actually watch this game, uh, I, I, I genuinely don't know, you know, why, you know, anybody watch this game. Thank goodness the Pittsburgh-Cincinnati game went over so we didn't have to see this, you know. For like the first 15 or so minutes of the game, because I mean, again, it got out of hand for the Cardinals really, really quickly, and I don't, I don't know. There's got, there's got to be some questions answered as the season goes along, you know, like expeditiously. You already know I'm disappointed, you know. You already know I'm disappointed about Dallas Cowboys. Oh my goodness, this is horrible. One of the bigger injuries is Dak Prescott's hand injury. He maybe out for like two months. And that means, you know, Cooper Rush, you know, could be started. Jimmy G could be, could get picked up somewhere down the line for these next two months. Cam Newton's still out there. It, it's, it's, it's bizarre because, like, the Buccaneers, they didn't really do anything on offense. Like, Tom Brady really didn't do anything at all. Like, like the Buccaneers had to go for field goals Four of their first five tries, you know, out there inside the Dallas 20-yard line. They missed the field goal, too. But Cowboys, all they could muster was three points. And, again, I believe I said during the preview, you know, that the Cowboys were going to have to focus on the running game. Because, again, you know, the receivers, you know, it's young. It's a young crew of receivers right now, you know. And it, it's, it's a result of Jerry Jones making more mistakes as usual. But, you know, Jerry Jones is Jerry Jones. He does what he wants. And the Cowboys, 
you know, unfortunately, you're gonna have to suffer for it for a while. I, I don't know. I don't know now. Like Dak being out, and you know, having Cooper Rush in at quarterback. That sounds scary. I, I don't know what's scarier that or the Seahawks actually beating the Broncos. The game just finished up like about about 15 minutes or so ago, and I'm still sitting here shocked. You know, as I record this, you know recap of week one and I gotta say how do you fail in the red zone three times Broncos two of those were fumbles by the way you let Chino Smith of all people Chino Smith fake a guy out throw a touchdown like it was nobody's business and you know you let you let Chino Smith get a W on opening night and Seahawks still have their own O-line problems like you know Randy Gregory was getting there he forced the big time fumble but again the Broncos didn't do anything with that you know Broncos couldn't do anything you know at the right times when they needed to you know they had so many opportunities to take this game they had an opportunity on fourth down to just have Russell Wilson do something about it you paid Russell Wilson to do something about this, and you sent out the kicker to miss a 64-yarder. What kind of nonsense are y'all smoking out there in Denver? That good, that cush must be real good, because, I mean, what kind of play call was that? Fourth and five, you had the offense on the field the first time. You know, you get your, get your kickers out there, you know, call a timeout, get the kickers out there. And you see, you know, Seattle calls a timeout. Missed kick, you know, you know, despite the fact that Seattle called the timeout, had to go back out there again because you know ice kicker and everything like that, and boom, you still missed the kick. How do you how do you do how do you do that? There were multiple kick, there were multiple times tonight where the Broncos just lacked common sense on some of these plays. Like there's there's got to be something something's got to give here. Something has got to give. You know, real soon. So, I mean, we don't really have any answers all week one. Like, we've got a long season to go. And next, you know, next week, I mean, start this Thursday, I don't know what in the world's going to happen because everything is bizarre. Everything is crazy. Everything just got a little bit weirder. And who knows, who knows how things are going to go, you know. We got two Monday night games. We got... Thursday Night Football debuting on Amazon. You know, we got a lot of teams that are angry. We got a lot of teams that feel good after going 1-0. The goal next week is to go 1-0. That's all I got to say. And until, you know, what, uh, and until, you know, next time, Big Boy Sports signing out. I was about to say, you know, like, I was about to say something else, but. You all know what you should do by now, which is like, share, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell, do all that good stuff, and again, I'll see you soon with more content. We'll be talking college football next.